Hey, man. Yes, sir. All right, so what you got? Well, <laughs> I have uh, a, a, a case of call reluctance is what I have. <laughs> okay, tell me about it. Uh, well, you know, I've got, I've got the red. Now, I've called before, you know, but in the past. I've, I've used the red X before. I've never used Mojo Dialer, but I've used red X in the past. So I'm not, it, it's, I tell you, yesterday morning, I was like, man, I'm all fired up. I'm going to get in there to the office. I'm going to pull up all these leads, and I'm going to start calling. Well, yeah, I pulled them up, and I weeded out the do not calls just to be on the safe side. And I'm looking at 89 phone numbers to call, and I'm at the edge of the cliff. I just can't get over it for some reason. I don't, I, it, I, there's just, it's just a, it's a fear of rejection that you talk about. That's what it is. I mean, what do you what are you scared of? I, I don't know. I guess people just getting pissed off at me. <laughs> I guess. That, I mean, that's the only thing, and I don't know why. I'm not afraid. I know I'm not afraid of it, but mm. it's 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 there. It's on the it's right on the surface. I just, it's, I just need to scrape it away. That's what I need. And yeah. for some reason, you know, um, I I just don't. I just I just can't explain it. I I think once I do it and do that first block of 89 that I've got pulled up for a new listing that we just took and that went live and get that, you know what I mean? After, after I start oiling those gears again, I'll be fine, but it's just getting that, that first set of phone calls in. Okay, so the best way to do it is just to do it. Like right, and that's, and like, that's, what I hear, that's what I hear in the back of my head every time. I hear your voice and Rick, Rick you just would say, just do it. Well, Don't even think about it. Well, I mean, like... Like once you make a couple calls, you're gonna realize that people aren't mad at you, aren't gonna get mad at you, you know? Right. I mean that's that's the first thing, but the next thing is is why would that why would they get mad at you? I don't know. I, I think, I, so what? I, what? I, okay. So so that answers my question. I'm just trying to figure out what you're what you're so scared of because you haven't said. I mean, every time I say what are you scared of, you say I don't know. Right, right, right. But then I said, what would they get pissed off about? And you said, you don't know. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get to, I'm just trying to get to the root of why you're scared to make calls. Uh, I, I guess, I guess it's being viewed as a telemarketer. That's, that's the thing. You know, you know, you know, that's what separates what we do and what everybody else does. You know, if you follow my phone script, the way that it's laid out for you, you don't sound like a telemarketer. Do you understand? Gotcha. Do you, have you watched the videos of me making calls on zero to diamond dot com? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, the, the, on the private. Yeah, absolutely. Did yeah. that? Did that sound like a telemarketer? No, not at all. Okay, so why why can't you just follow exactly what I do? I can. Okay, so <laughs> that should. That, I guess the other thing is that, that I just. <clears throat> I guess another. I guess now that we're talking about getting to get digging deeper, I guess the other fear is that that I'm not going to come across because I don't have them internalized and don't have them. I, I've got them uh, more or less memorized, but I, you know, I don't have it to where it sounds natural yet. I'm afraid that I'm going to fumble. I guess. Yeah, you're going to. Who cares? See, see, see. Here's the thing, man. You want it to be perfect before you make the calls, but you have to make you have to make the calls before you you're gonna get it. Like you, you're not gonna make the calls and you just be an expert the first call you make. You're gonna mess up a bunch at first, and you're gonna learn from that. And like it's stages. First, you're gonna be scared to make the calls. Then you gotta make yourself make the calls. Then you get over that. You're like, okay, I can do this. I made the calls and they and I didn't die. Now, right, yeah. now, now you're like, okay, now I'm making the calls. Now I gotta start feeling comfortable, you know. Now, you know, once you get to the comfortable part, now it's like, okay, let me refine what I'm saying. Okay, now I'm kind of saying it right. Let me start trying to actually read the person I'm talking to, so that I can, you know, go with the flow of each conversation and, and try to get the most out of it to, to figure out exactly how I can help this person, you know. It's, right. st it's stages. You're in a very early stage. So here's the difference in top producers and low producers. There's stages to all this stuff, and low producers get stuck in stages, and they don't they don't move to the next one. 
you know yeah. and so you have to say to yourself am i just going to be stuck right here where i'm scared or am i just going to bust through that scared stage and go to the next stage and the next stage and the next stage because i had to go through it sure so yeah. i mean i don't know why anybody else thinks that they don't have to go through it yeah, 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 it sucks. It sucks to, uh, yeah, it sucks to make calls. I mean, yeah, everybody knows that. But, you know, so does mopping floors for a living or roofing houses or, you know, doing hard labor. I mean, think about the alternative, man, and be grateful for it and say, I'm going to make these calls because I'm going to be number one in my area. Right, right, right. I have, and, and, the, 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 and just like you said, the one thing that's separating me from that is busting through this very first plateau that I'm at, right? Right, now. right. There and making those phone calls. But after that, there's going to be another plateau, and another one, and another one, and another one. Forever. It's endless. Right. Right. So. You know, this is just another thing that you have to just go through. I mean, it's part of growing. Like, you can't grow without some kind of uncomfortableness, you right. know? And, that, and, and that's, that's part of it. Just, I, mean, I, know, I know the gold mine is, is outside of my comfort zone, and that's what I'm afraid to step out of right now for some reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's where, that's where I need, that's why I was like, now I've got to send him a text and, we'll, you know, get a hold of him and just have him talk in the office ledge that I'm sitting on. Because like I said, I've got, I mean, I've got the, got the leads, they're pulled up, they're loaded into Mojo, all I got to do is hit, use dialer, that's it. I'm going to start out with a single dialer until I get used to it, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'll, I'll quickly move up to the three line once I get used to it and find out people aren't going to come to my house and uh, burn my house down. All you need to do now is practice. You know what to say. You got the phone numbers. You got the time. You want this. You're motivated. You want to dominate. You want to be number one. The only thing between you and all those things is just making these calls. 100%. That's it. Yeah. It was my call reluctance. That's, that's the thing separate me from right. market domination and, and, and being average. Okay, so so as far as reluctance goes, reluctance comes from you thinking negative thoughts before you make the calls and talking yourself out of making the calls, right? Correct. What you're worried about are you're assuming how things are going to go, and you don't you have no idea how they're going to go. You're assuming how they're going to go, right? Right. And what happens is, is we as humans, we we the what we with the things we worry about happening, uh, about ninety percent of the things we worry about happening never happen. Like you, you're worried about an imaginary result that hasn't even happened, and you're worried about it, and you're expecting the the worst possible results in your mind. Right. You need to be thinking. These people are going to love to hear from me. They want to hear from me. They're going to love this information. They're going to they're going to like me a whole lot. Those are the thoughts you need to be having. And I'm writing this stuff down as you tell me, <laughs> so I can so I can you know what I mean, just be mentally prepared. You need uh, to forget all the negative stuff you're t you're thinking. To calling. All right. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I need to know. That's why you're. Uh, that's why you're on top, and I'm. I'm trying to climb that ladder, brother. <laughs> well, I mean, but the thing is, is I've been like this from day one. Right. Like I've had this mindset that I don't care about all that negative stuff or anything in my mind. I know I have to do this to succeed. So where? Where's the phone number? Where? How? Where? How do we know? Let me start calling people if that's what I got to do. There's not there's not a there's not a, a moment there's not a there's not a, a piece of of hesitation anywhere in my resume. And that's what I need to I need to squeeze that out of mine. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's, that's it. I mean I just need to squeeze it out. Quit worrying yeah. about the negative stuff that you think's going to happen because it's not going to happen like that. What's going to happen is you're going to make the calls and they're going to be happy to hear from you. Now, what what you're going to have to work on next is being nervous, right? Because when they yeah. when, when they hear you being nervous, then now they don't want to do business with you. Right. So work on the yeah, because I, I, I kind of I, I even felt myself being a little bit hesitant there, or, or having that shake in my voice. 
when I was doing it. So. Let it let it go natural, man. Pretend like you're talking to friends and family. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I just need to internalize this and just memorize it and, and get this stuff done, man. That's that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. You just got to get it done, dude. That's it. That's it. That's that's it right there. You know what the I just want it. you know what the three two you know what the three two one club is. No. Uh -uh. Three, two, one club is something I created for Instagram where get you, you need to put the post notifications on Instagram to where okay well as soon as I post on Instagram and you see a notification you need to post you need to like my post and comment with hashtag three two one club and then and then I'm picking winners for free books or to do talk to do little phone calls like this and stuff but but the three two one club stands for if if it has have no fear. Whereas, if something is is scaring you, if you're scared to do something, you say to yourself, three, two, one, and then just do it. Got it. So you Make need to happen. you need to live by the three, two, one club. Like you need to live by oh, phone calls scare me. Okay, three, two, one, and then just dial the numbers and start talking to people. Got it. Yeah. There it is. I'll do it, man. I'll All right. It. Hey, it. listen. Uh, you're gonna call today. Yes. Okay, post your call results in the group this afternoon. I want to see them. All right. Well, All right. So I hang up and get, get a drink of water, I'm going to hit it. Later, buddy. All right. See you. All right.